The new Last of Us game, it and other AAA games price tags, and next generation gaming as a whole. This week on The Boys Breakdown. From what I understand, Bryce and David both think that the remaster looks worse in terms of quality. And I think in some I areas... Say quality. I would just say look. Look, okay, like the general look and feel. The vibes might not are have tainted. Understood. That is exactly the way that I would put it, Connor. I feel like if you look at the screenshot I just sent, sure, the newer one like looks, the other one's got vibes. Yeah, honestly, I kind of have to agree. I'm just looking at the dude's face. The one on the left just looks more visually appealing. I do agree with that. I think overall the textures and the, and the upgraded quality is great. There is definitely like lighting, color palette, glow that I think kind of a downgrade so here's here's what i'm saying is i feel like the xbox 360 and ps3 all the games have this like sheen to them yeah that like we don't get that anymore it's just I, it's, I kind of miss it it's I miss timeless the sheen. I'd say it's mainly the characters that are putting me off these environment screenshots are changing my mind a little bit honestly the environment like, looks fucking mainly? incredible the, the environment, environment looks is amazing. fantastic. I think we can all agree on that. But, but yeah. what I'm saying is they, they sucked the vibes out of the game. And I yeah. want the vibes. I want them back. That's what the PS5 is really missing. And I don't think the that that's what There are no vibes. Ultimately, the vibes. You pay. It, no vibes. It is all just technical yeah. showmanship. You have to take okay, out a yeah. second mortgage <laughs> to get 4K <laughs> graphics. And there's no yeah. vibes. You well, got shit's tag. got like 700 quadrillion polygon <laughs> like like actually though there what ps5 game has vibes i think the vibes are all in the games that are just like ports yeah i don't think any of the original ps5 games really there are original yeah. ps5 games that's news to me <laughs> wait let me see there's I'm like google four there's there's like like four or five. <laughs> they got ratchet and clank but. Oh my god, Ratchet and Clank. They That's got, selling okay. me. Don't discount Ratchet and Clank. Okay, Ratchet and Clank is genuinely I'm not really dis good. I, listen, I am not uh, I am not shitting not on Ratchet seller. and Clank, but I'm not going to buy a seven hundred dollar <laughs> PlayStation you, I feel Similarly, like I, I will not spend seventy dollars on a game that I've already spent sixty dollars and played in the past so. seventy dollars a buttoned up game that should be no mm -hmm. more than 30. it's a remaster that's a you're I, some slight I, no, gameplay improvements a Isn't little a, a graphical remake? upgrade they, they like rebuilt mm -hmm. it i think what what warrants the title remake includes a lot of um core gameplay changes like what they did with Resident Evil 2. Here's the thing, is like, right, why? But, why would you do that other than to justify the price tag that you want to put on the game? It's also, even if they did do that, they completely took the game apart and just redid it from scratch. It's still the same game. It's the same story. Yeah, You're the, It's they the same really experience. It's by and large the same experience. Fork yeah, over $70. Put all that money into a new game. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. With all of exactly. with all of the supposed resources and time that they spent on this, they could have just made another game that could you even know, then be dog. a justification of the $70 price tag, which no new game is worth $70 on its They're own. They're literally just asking for $70 so that they can pay for all the time they fucking wasted. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, Naughty dogs franchise for this generation just going to be remaking all their old shit that's all listen, they've done so listen, far if, oh, six, i sorry. looked it yeah. up and it says they have three games that they are reportedly working on right now and two of them are the last of us 2's multiplayer <laughs> and the last of us remake oh my god <laughs> 70 dollars Big no. I'd pay maybe 35 I mean, listen, I completely understand at this point, like, a brand new game being $70. But, like, well, this game is eight years old. They are spending a lot of time on the in-game graphics for the next-gen consoles, so they are 4K ready. Here's my counterpoint to the 4K defense. One, I really don't think games need to be in 4K. Two the vast majority of people aren't even playing games in 4k anyways and Who, that's no I, one has 4k monitors it's a very niche market that everyone is now having to pay for my bottom line is even with the graphical argument and the technical time spent i still don't think any new game is worth 70 dollars or even 60 dollars for that matter i, I feel like what you're actually getting for the gameplay, the the game, 
no more than fifty dollars. If you don't think that like GTA Five is worth sixty dollars, that's worth seventy dollars, dude. If you think right about now. it, I mean, if a game like GTA Five came out right now, that's worth seventy dollars because you're getting okay. like two hundred and fifty hours of content yeah. out of that. I, that's the <laughs> one exception is that yeah, GTA Five. Uh, fortunately, Rockstar doesn't make games anymore, so yeah. Dudes were out here buying games on the Atari 2600 for $120. Yeah. That's how much games cost then. Yeah, games have always been expensive. Dudes yeah. were out here spending 100 plus dollars on fucking Kong. <laughs>